All right, everybody. Um, so let's pick up where we left off. Uh, the last thing that we did was this wall section. Um, I remember uh, I taught you just kind of like some some shortcuts, so to speak, although I don't really like that word, but um, some shortcuts to get your wall section se sections looking good, um, as well as functioning pretty good too. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really do annotations and stuff like that yet. Uh, we'll get there in a moment, but what I wanna show you is the relationship or a relationship between wall sections and details and some workflows for how some offices decide to do that. Um, so uh, I guess first off, let's, uh, let's learn, or, or let's start by creating a detail sheet. Um, detail sheets look a little bit different. Um, you'll see that a detail sheet is often gonna have boxes that are drawn across the sheet. Um, we're gonna keep it really simple and we're gonna start with this detail right here. Um, and, uh, and don't worry so much about the boxes. We'll get there when we get to formatting and stuff like that. But anyway, um, so let's create a new sheet. Go to Sheets, hit New Sheet. And uh, we are using the, not the cover sheet. Okay, um, so really quick, we're just going to um, reformat this here. Uh, I'm not sure what numbering system to use for this because I don't know how yeah, we're probably going to do some interior elevations or something. So let's let's jump our details to the 900 series, okay? Just in case we do some other um, sheets in between. So uh, let's do A901. Sorry, capital A. And uh, I'm going to call this one um, just details, generically details. All right, so um, the I guess um, wh wh what you guys need to know about details is they can they they're they're essentially just other um, they're a view that is not a live cut. Okay, so that's for like beyond anything, details are not live cuts or live sections of the model in most offices if they're doing it right. That's the key. Um, but there's nothing really preventing you from going to your wall section and saying, oh, I want to take a detail of this. So let me use a call out, right? And I click this little call out and I draw this little bubble. And then that becomes a live view when I say go to view. That's that you would think as a new Revit user um, that that is a smart way of doing it. But it's not um, because when you're when you're doing, when you're down in the detail level, this is too much model detail. Um, and, and because models are kind of imperfect and, and they're not really like, they don't mesh as perfect construction systems, oftentimes you're gonna spend far too much time trying to clean up views like this than if you just draw it, like almost like you're in AutoCAD. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so uh, instead of using, let me delete that actually. Uh, delete that, yeah, okay. So instead of using a call out on a live view, we're going to use a drafting view and then we're gonna create a reference call out. Does that make sense? The way I described that, okay? Well, let's do it. Um, so I'm gonna click drafting view. I'm gonna call this um, parapet at, uh, well, let's call it typical parapet at siding. TYP period is a good, actually all caps, sorry, start over. TYP period, parapet at siding. And you're gonna start off with a totally blank view. Um, so uh, my current office and, and many of the offices that I've worked in, as well as, um, as, well as many of my colleagues' offices outside of my own uh, function this way, um, this is kind of what I think is, is generally speaking, the industry standard, right? You get, you, as you work through the drawing set, you get to the point where you've developed your wall sections. They kind of look all right. You put some detail components in there and all looks good. Um, what we probably want to do and, and what makes a lot of sense for a lot of users is to just take these detail elements and drop them in the drafting view, right? That's kind of, I mean, even though it's not quite up to the level of detail that we need it, that's at least faster than me going through and drawing every single piece of plywood, 
dropping in every piece of blocking once more. Does that make sense? So as a workflow, um, we tend to work from plan into, sec into building section, into wall section, and then once we get to this level of detail, we just kind of copy bits and pieces over until we get to the final product. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'll do a left to right select, and I'll grab a few things. Um, and what I notice is, you know, certain, only certain things got selected, right? So obviously none of my model elements got selected. That's good. Um, but if I do a right to left select, I'm going to select all my model elements, rooms, walls, roofs, uh, grid lines, levels, whatever. So you got to be very careful about what you're selecting. Um, so anyway, what I like to do is uh, select a go right to left and then filter. This is like one of the coolest Revit features that you guys are going to love this. Okay, you're, you're, you're literally going to freak out. You're going to love this, right? So at the top, um, there's this thing called selection. And you can go to the filter panel and you can filter things out that you don't want selected. Uh, yeah. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Right? Don't you wish you had that in like Rhino? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm All right. Excited. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, um, go through and it, this takes practice and knowledge in the software to know what to select and what not to select, especially for very large selections. But, um, a general, uh, I guess a general idea of what you want to select here is anything that is a drafting or 2D component, which could take the form of insulation, um, lines, not levels and grids. You do want detail items, but generally that's about it. You don't want uh, rooms, walls, windows. You don't want levels, you don't want grids, and you don't want ceilings. Everything else there is just drawn into that view. So when I hit OK, we're going to get uh, all those elements that I didn't select before, and I can just hit Control C, go over to my drafting view, Control V, and uh, and there's the element. So this is this gives us a starting point to um, to kind of get through this detail, and uh, I'll walk you through actually doing this detail in a moment. But I just wanted you guys to see a, an example of a workflow from moving to, from wall section to detail section, or detailed view. Okay. What, uh, what questions do you have on that? Okay, great. Uh, 